students in this video i am going to explain you about elimination method we have already seen how to solve a given pair of equation in substitution method now we'll learn how to solve a given pair of equation by elimination method so elimination method elimination means to remove to eliminate something so here we are going to eliminate one of the variable let me proceed and then you will understand the concept so suppose we have two equations out here so we need to solve it so let me take the first equation now see you have to arrange the equation okay it's better to arrange the equation in such a way that x and y will be in your left side and the constant term will be in the right side so let us do that first seven so you have arranged in the left side we have the variables the terms including x and y and the constant term is in the right side so this become our equation 1 see the equation 2 in the question is already arranged isn't it okay so this becomes or for your convenience what i am doing here the x is first and then y so let me arrange that for you so this so you can write this like this so this become equation 2 so the two equations are here now what we need to do in elimination method we need to eliminate any one of the term containing either x variable or y variable that means we are going to eliminate either this term that is terms containing y or the terms containing x any one you have to choose that's up to you totally up to you so let's in this equation let us eliminate suppose x so see what do you need to do what's the coefficient of x out here 6 and what's the coefficient of uh, x out here it's minus 1 but you don't need to see the sign at the moment so 1 6 and 1 so what you'll do you have to make coefficient in both the equations same now how to make the coefficient same in both the equations for that it's very simple you will find the lcm of 6 and 1 okay chai koi bhi number ho yahan pe any number is present suppose in any question you are doing how to uh, equate both the coefficients just find the lcm of both the numbers whatever lcm comes you will convert that number into the lcm by multiplying with a proper number like here what is the lcm of 6 and 1 it's very simple it's 6 isn't it so what do you, what we will do we we don't want to change the coefficient of x in equation 1 so 1 will remain as it is that means 1 we are multiplying with equation 1 we multiplied with 1 and equation 2 what to do with equation 2 now here it is 1 so I need to make it 6 because the LCM of 6 and 1 is 6 so what we'll do we'll multiply equation 2 by 6 okay then both the coefficient will become equal but now was the second factor you have to see this term is in plus and this term is in minus so they already are in opposite sign so that's why you have to add the two equations there are two ways in which you can eliminate either by adding or by subtracting so when to add and when to subtract if the terms are already present in, with opposite sign then you just add by equating the numbers just add the two equations they will get cancelled on their own but if they are of same sign suppose there had been plus sign it is also plus it is also plus then you will subtract okay so now, now let's proceed so this is a statement that is we multiplied equation 1 by 1 and 2 by 6 so what happened this will remain as it is since we have multiplied with 1 okay and this will is getting multiplied with 6 so minus 6x everything will get each and every term of this equation will get multiplied with 6 okay plus 6 7 is a 42 y 6 is a 48 okay and since we are doing addition no sign change will be there i'll do one more question for you in which i'll show you how to subtract or what happens when we do subtraction of two equations okay so this is an example of addition so 6x and minus 6x they will get cancelled so see the x term has been eliminated okay that's why this process is called elimination method now minus 7 and plus 42 so 42 minus 7 is 
plus 35y and 48 plus 7 will be 55 so implies y equals to 55 by 35 now you need to cancel it so it will go by 5 so 5 11 5 7 so y came out to be 11 by 7 now what to do we'll put the value of this y in any one of the equation that's totally up to you you can put the value of y out here or here okay so let us put it in this equation so putting y equals to 11 by 7 in equation 2 we get okay so we are going to put the value of y in this equation so it was minus x plus 7 y so that means we are going to put the value of y and that is 11 by 7 is equals to 8 7 7 got cancelled out minus x plus 11 is equals to 8 so minus x is equals to 8 minus 11 minus x is equals to minus 3 okay so minus minus will get cancelled x is equals to 3 so the two solutions are therefore x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 11 by 7 is the answer okay now I'm going to take one more question so in this question I'll be uh, using subtraction to eliminate the term okay so here see the equations are already arranged as I have already told you that you'll arrange the equation in such a way that the terms containing x and y will be on the left and the constant term will be on the right so they are already arranged isn't it so this is the question so 8x plus 5y is equals to 9 becomes your equation 1 and 3x plus 2y is equals to 4 this becomes equation 2 so what was the next thing we have to do in elimination method now you have to eliminate either x or y so what you have to do in that for that for that you have to equate the coefficient so you have to choose any one variable suppose we take x okay so 8 and 3 so what do you do need to do you need to find the lcm of 8 and 3 and the lcm of 8 and 3 you can do in rough the lcm of 8 and 3 is 24 that means you have to make this 24 and this also 24 for that you need to multiply the equations with proper number so how to make 8 convert 8 to 24 you have to multiply with 3 so equation 3 equation 1 is getting multiplied with 3 and equation 2 is getting multiplied with 8 so that both the terms becomes equal let me show you so this becomes 24x this becomes 15y and this becomes 27 remember you have to multiply each and every term of the equation don't forget to multiply this number okay many students do that silly mistake so be careful out here now we are going to multiply equation 2 by 8 so 24x plus 16y is equals to uh, 4 is a 32 okay so two equations are ready now what to do so see both the terms are having same sign plus and plus but they will not get cancelled on their own so you have to subtract in this case let me remind you in the first question in the first question the terms had opposite sign that's why you need to add the two equations to cancel them but in this case in this case they are having same sign so what do you need to do you need to subtract the moment you subtract the two equations the sign of the each term of second equation will change that means this was plus so this will become minus this was plus this will become minus this was plus this will become minus suppose there had been minus sign so you will change minus to plus so sign will change while subtracting the two equations the uh, sign of each term of the second equation will change so now it's 24x minus 24x so this will cancel plus 15y minus 16y so it will come minus y okay and this is 27 minus 32 so it will come minus 5 as minus is bigger minus uh, the number containing minus sign is bigger 
so that's why minus 5 will come now minus minus got cancelled y is equals to 5 now we'll follow the process same process that is we'll put the value of y in any one of the equation it's up to you so suppose we are going to put this putting y equals to 5 in equation 2 it's totally up to you you can put in 1 also or 2 also any one equation you'll put the value of y so I'm putting it in equation 2 we get so 3x plus 2y was there see 2y so 2 into 5 is equals to 4 so 3x plus 10 is equals to 4 3x is equals to 4 minus 10 3x is equals to minus 6 x is equals to minus 6 by 3 so x is equals to 3 1 3 2 so minus 2 therefore x equals to minus 2 and y equals to 5 is the solution of this given pair of equation.